Hello my beautiful friends, at last we are meeting to check out those watercolor pencils from Ranger. I'm very excited, I have to say, let's open them up. We've got six different sets, those are woodless pencils. Honestly, I haven't seen any tutorials, I haven't seen them in the action or anything. I haven't, I really didn't. Wow, I love the packaging. Um, Oh wow, we there are three sets from last year and there are three sets from this year. I have no idea which is which, I didn't check. We also have separate black and white. I believe they're not here, I'm guessing. So uh, I'm gonna open up the rest of them. Here they are, beautiful selection of crayons, six boxes. I guessed it that this one is number one actually and it has black and white color included so I haven't opened this one. I got it uh, because I somehow didn't check the colors which is fine. You usually would need extra white for sure, black for some, it depends, but the collection of those color selection is beautiful. There is like 12 in one box, 36 here, so all together 72. That's like a big number of colors, so I'm super excited to check them out. Honestly, I haven't seen any, so I'm really, really looking forward to it. I'm gonna start with box number one. Let's see uh, how it's gonna work for us. And let's just see and swatch the colors. Uh, I'm really, really excited for this one because I wonder will they work well with the water? How will they dissolve? This is what I would be looking for. Now, these are Distress watercolor pencils. Um, is there anything else we can read about them? Them. Mm, watercolor pencils formulate woodless um, pencils formulated to achieve vibrant coloring effect for effects on porous surfaces. The solid water reactive pigments are ideal for watercoloring, shading, sketching, and more. Color directly onto surface and blend with water. Layer with distress ink, um, oxide sprays, or paint for more possibilities. Coordinates with the distress palettes. Oh wow! That the color selection looks just wow. I have everything placed lovely. Each set, uh, two, three, four, five, six, and number one here. Let's start. And I have water ready as well. Now, I have big expectations, honestly, and I really hope this will do the trick and the magic. Oh, wow, we look at it. Oh, gorgeous. Really beautiful first impression, I have to say. Uh, let's check the other course. I feel it's gonna take ages <laughs> so what I may do is I may record maybe the set number one and I will possibly I don't know would you like to see, I don't know would anyone would like to see the full swatching I honestly don't want to bore you <laughs> and excuse my voice I'm trying to record rec recover from throat infection and it just doesn't go away so you may as you may hear now the colors possibly I've mixed them up somehow because yeah because I was just not cure not careful enough and they just they just um, mix them up so if they are not in the order that's probably why Wow honestly I love so far the the actual let's see what happens now I love the first impression I do, I really do. Five, six. Oh, I was waiting for this color actually. They are quite hard. Um, oh, I like a little butter. I love it. Now, it would be nice to see how they mix, maybe in a second. Maybe let's grab some of these colors to make it a little bit faster. And I will just have them like here. I guess it doesn't matter the color combination, right? I hope that's okay with you. Um, so to make it a little bit smoother <laughs> process of swatching, because you know what? I'm excited to see them all, honestly. So uh, the white, I don't know. Will we see anything? Um, Pointless of swatching white, I guess, right? But let's just have it there. Let's see. It is nice. It works lovely. 
the darker pigmented crayons it's easier to sort of blend it um, but no you can work around it no problem the first impression the second impression all is nice I have to say I wasn't fan of the first crayons because they were oily very much and I could not work with them it just wasn't happening now how about instead of swatching right now how about uh, the white one obviously the white one the white one <laughs> <laughs> the white we should check on some other way I'm curious about this color is it that just because it's so bright that let's see how it's working on the wet surface mm, it's working but nothing oops I haven't cleaned the brush off am I right possibly now this is just a bright lovely color okay um, do you know what let's just move on to set number two and let's just swatch it um, either you will like that idea or you will <laughs> fast forward it because do you know what maybe every color is really different and it's nice to see how they feel on the paper with water I guess um, especially if you're curious and if you <coughs> consider purchasing now I'm gonna grab them all or most of them so that I love the colors so far beautiful selection like 72 different colors I don't think <coughs> excuse me I'm so sorry but my throat is really really wrecked from coughing all these uh, days I wanted to say that they're losing a lot of pigment when you are scraping them drawing on the paper so that's one of the things I notice the, if you press it hard enough they would less I don't know if that's because of that but they're losing quite a lot of a lot of uh, there are tiny shavings there I don't think I would keep them in those boxes I think because they crayons they can be stored vertical horizontal however so my guess is that I will put them in the jar as much as they look so beautiful like this I doubt it I'll keep it like that because they would be a bit I don't know it's just faster probably to reach it in the jar sort of thing so uh, yeah I'm guessing that's what I would do some of the colors like this this swatched beautifully uh, some of them are more porous like you can see more of the paper but I don't know if that's anything to do with the different pigments you know when I swatch these things it's not that I have a huge knowledge about it I can only tell you my feelings my impression about it um, because I'm not really a typical a comparison reviewer person if you know what I mean so I can tell you how I feel uh, now I'm pressing quite firmly maybe that's why it's losing all this because if I won't press it maybe you don't need to actually <laughs> maybe you don't need to let's see those colors and we have to see and mix them up uh, uh, mix them up as well I guess I guess I pressed it in the places where I felt that the pigment could be a bit darker and I maybe wanted to help it out I don't know like it's lifting quite okay quite good from the page you can get rid of those lines um, maybe depending as well how how strongly you pressed it on those uh, on the paper while doing those lines some pigments are really like this one works like a butter beautiful because it's so dark as well maybe I don't know I don't want to make any assumptions so far I do like it oh this is a beautiful color my favorite color so far this one this one and this one so those two and maybe this one maybe this one as well so those few now how about we'll just see how they mix they mix like a watercolor I guess right oh lovely now the brownie browns and this one Some people, uh, when they when when they shave and they make them sharp, they keep the shavings and make 
um, watercolor from those shavings actually I saw some videos of it so that's a nice idea now so that's what we have I like this color I love this color this is nice too gray like some of the shades are really 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 nice uh, one two let's go for it and three actually it's you know what it's going pretty fast I have to say so let's do it let's keep on doing that mm -hmm. will I manage it to have all these in one page all this I hope I will manage it make them a little bit smaller there we go Mm hmm lovely I hope you don't mind that I am a little bit uh, not in the direction of how they were placed in the boxes because when I was checking the numbers on the back which set is that <laughs> they all twisted and all so yes uh, I need to find some gorgeous jar for them because I think I'll be using them I will I believe I will be using them um, they are lovely so far now I think the big asset of it is that they are corresponding with other Tim Holtz products so if you fan of those products you have all the oxides you have sprays and everything you'll be delighted I'm sure to mix it and match with it I don't have opinion whether they better than other crayons or stuff I don't think I have a beside those woodies sort of things uh, like this is woody much much creamier and uh, lighter in the lighter in the texture of the like this is this is more like a butter this is much harder so let's see how they uh, so I don't have oh look and that's gorgeous as well so you know I don't like I don't have much to compare these with because uh, actually th these are Lamy brand there is another one which is uh, Stadler and one more which is of course Woody's let's see the Woody's one as well oh much creamier these are very very um, Mm. I don't know I think it feels that it's easier for me to smooth it out the woodies than uh, than the them crayons because they are much creamier hmm. and because those are so sharp as well uh, the lines are much more visible maybe because they are still at the beginning of their journey of being just so sharp as the first because otherwise they do smooth smudge and um, like they, they 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 really work work well with water and stuff mm, maybe this green doesn't want maybe if I'll go again as in faster will that make a difference If I don't press, it's not as pigmented, I feel. Hmm, that's strange. Let's see green from... Where is some similar green from Woody's? I don't have it here. How is that even possible? I have... Which brand is that? Lyra. I don't know how good is this one. I can't remember. But let's see quite alike. One advantage of these crayons is the actual uh, selection of colors like you probably I don't know if any other brand makes woodless crayons if they do and I don't know maybe you could let me know maybe I could test them out uh, now I wonder if how late I'm trying to redo the because I don't know if it's if it's because a moment ago I put the crayon on on the card and that's why it's just the the lines are visible more. Hmm. Oh, I love this color. Oh, gorgeous colors! Like all of these are just like I actually can't tell which set is my favorite right now. Possibly this one, which is number 
three. Oh, because it's pastel, is it? It's sort of pastel-y. Yes, it feels pastel-ish. Maybe this one would be my favorite. I don't think that Woodle Woody's or any cheaper brands are any worse. I can tell because look, like this works gorgeous like th this is the woody one three in one same for this one uh, same for this one like they they you know they work oh you couldn't see uh, I'm this one and this one like they work super well as well so I would not think that those crayons the Tim Holtz are any different other than they harder so for me it's more difficult let me see let me grab one more paper out of curiosity because uh, <clears throat> let's see let's see the red one and some red one from here so we have Stadler we have all three we have Stadler red we have Lamy, we have Woody 3-in-1, they're much more creamy, all of them, and we have, that's the only one that lost the pigment, I pressed it all the same, seriously, um, okay, let's see, shall I clean the water, maybe I'll do that, maybe I'm gonna have some cleaner water, okay, let's go, let's start with this one, mm-hmm, Next one. Let's see. Um, I think Stadlers were from my previous tests. Uh, this the the worse the worsen as Hannah would say. Uh, so you can see the lines smoothing out harder. Uh, Lamy's fantastic, Stabilo fantastic and you have um, and you have Tim's one. I don't know. I I honestly don't know. You would have to you know play it around and see how they mix and match and stuff. Let's say this one is Stabilo, not Stabilo sorry. Yes yeah, Stabilo <coughs> three in one purple. Where's the purple? There's some purple. Let's grab this purple. I'm gonna have it here. This one is losing. <laughs> I don't know if it's bad or good. I don't know. I would not know. And let's see. Like a butter. Like, look at it. Really good. Okay. And let's see. Oh, gorgeous color. That's very alike. I. If there is any difference at all, it's like such a minor one that I don't know if it's that noticeable, to be honest. And uh, now, the positive part is that you can, you know, write with these much more delicate lines than with these, right? So that's a huge difference. Let's see. You know, they really react similar. They picked up pigment wise from the paper <laughs> excuse me really similar really a like gorgeous color like gorgeous gorgeous color um, okay so we've done test of pastel did we do this number set we did number two yes and that's number three so let's move on to set number yes that's set number four and I need a new card which I'm gonna grab now I should be more ready, right? Um, I guess what I'm trying to say is that I don't see them as, as some super innovative product. No, we've seen similar products. I like the boxing idea. However, I won't be keeping them in the box. I like the, I like the look of those. They are smaller in hand. Um, I love the choice of colors. That is like fabulous. I'm gonna grab them all guys because I will still mix, mix them regardless so I love the mix of colors the choice 
fabulous. So that's that's a huge thing, right? The fact you can mix them with the other products from the same brand, super awesome. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to <laughs> have some sort of similar um, shades. So there we go. Lovely, hola! This is gorgeous, like a raspberry color. This one is like a real lavendery color, is it? Let's see the orange. Like a gorgeous selection of colors, that's for sure. Now, I wonder if there is some use that I could discover and I'm not just there yet. I don't know, maybe there, there is. But I just think overall they're just good. Good, very well working together. Crayons. Um, Price-wise, they are not cheap and probably that's the minus of it. Uh, this is why I could not afford myself to buy them. Now I just decided once I uh, I really wanted to check them out at last, so I, I got them. So I went for all six sets, which is a lot of money. Uh, no, no joke. Oops, no joke. But at the same time, I was thinking if I'll be testing three, I may as well test all six and have the whole selection package uh, because I make videos. That's the truth. Otherwise, having all these sort of, I would probably pay attention to what color set I could actually benefit from. Possibly difficult to decide, but I would probably make a decision and choose what I what I probably would use the most often or something. Because it's a lot of money for six sets, even for one. It's a lot of money for 12 colors. And uh, Stabilo are fabulous. The three-in-one woodies, Stabilo, are fabulous for... I remember they were quite expensive back then when I first introduced you them a few years back now. And for the kids' colors, because they kids crayons uh, I think there was 24 colors or something there is now new new actually set as well a, sh a small set of six um, pastel colors I have them somewhere here there's three more colors and um, I think for the fact that these were marketed marketed market marked market as kids colors uh, they were quite expensive I remember but they were fabulous for the price they were amazing I still think they are amazing and worth it to worth to get it and I don't think I heard anyone saying it differently like everyone who tried them really truly loved 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 them so same for me I'm I'm I'm, I'm a big advocate advocate of uh, three in one woodies and I think for the price you get a lovely selection of colors whoopsie Marta <laughs> my my uh, my t-shirt lovely selection of colors you get for those um, for the price I think it, it I don't know how much the pigment is inside. I think possibly like this is woodless. This is pure pigment inside as in there is pigment everywhere till from the bottom till the end, from the top to the end, pigment. In here, I'd say half of it because we could probably cut it out. I think someone did it before and I think there was far less. We can check it out. Would you like me to check out and cut out my <laughs> my stabilo and see and just actually ch -ch -ch -ch, maybe um, do you know what? If I have if I have the um, no, I don't have it now, but we do you know what? Th tell me if there's any point of making a video of how much of crayon is inside. But even if it's a full which I doubt it, but even if it's a full color inside, okay, it's much, not that much thicker, but it, it is thicker. It, okay, it is thicker. It is thicker. Even if it's a full, this one is pretty much full. Even if it's a full, I'm guessing it's still there. So you get less crayon possibly inside, but at the same time, oh, I think, I, I think I'm lost with all these colors now. Nope, nope. <laughs> Marta, well done. Okay, I don't know. Have I? That's this one. Oh my daisies, Marta, 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 Marta. Oh, that's this one. Okay, and six. Um, 
I don't know what I was saying. That's my HDHD of doing three things together. Uh, let me know. Should I should I should I shave my stabula and see how much of crayon is inside there? I can make a video like that. I would be excited to see myself. I think I saw it somewhere that it was not full, but maybe this was not their crayon. I don't know. Uh, but I think if you have none of those crayons at all, like at all. Uh, and your budget is tight if your budget is tight my friends our budgets are tight tight these days everyone's budgets are tight tight these days I would say go for woodies seriously you will love them to start with and if you will decide that yes I use them a lot I wish for bigger selection of colors then yes jump in for those because um, I know it's so difficult these days to, like I didn't buy them myself last year because I could not simply afford it even for tests I just I just didn't do it which now I thought let's do it you curious enough you waited long enough then your colors are out and I make videos that's a little bit different I guess right um, so I would understand that you could not get them. So get yourself woodies, guys. You will love them. You will love the 24 colors, I think, of woodies. Uh, and I'm not saying, oh, this one. Um, some, some, sometimes it's harder to get rid of those lines, I have to say. And that's maybe because they are so, not maybe, definitely they are very, um, they are very, Hard. The pigment is very hard. The crayon itself is very hard. It's not a, a soft crayon, which the other, all these are, all these brands of these are much softer, which I prefer. Yes, oh, I said it, but I did. Yeah, I, pr I would prefer a bit of a softer, a bit of a softer, um, pigment. It's just easier to work with, I guess. But that's probably just a preference and just a personal feel which still doesn't make these crayons bad they are fabulous I do love them I will be using them am I glad that I purchased them I did but could I get away without them mm. could be hard because the color selection is pretty <laughs> pretty nice pretty um, what's the word pretty uh, they want to make you they want to make you want to have them <laughs> maybe that that's what I'm trying to say anyway I'm rambling in this video I meant to fast forward the whole selection uh, the whole video of you know making those swatches that's probably my only nearly only such a long swatchy <laughs> video do you uh, tell me do you like watching swatching videos if I be having swatching my supplies that I own not necessarily the new but just the supplies I own would you like to see that tell me because I don't know if people are watching swatching watching swatching <laughs> ah that's nice I love the color selection I don't know which set is my favorite I probably talked so much but I didn't pay attention to it. I just more paid attention to uh, the colors itself, the, the crayons itself all together. As a, I treat them as a set, like together set, you know. I don't look them, oh, this is, I love this rich, what is wrong with me? Like, I love this rich, um, like, uh, fuchs, fu fu not fuchsia, fuchs, uh, no, uh, cherry blossom, I don't know. Like, this uh, raspberry color is, like, ugh. Oh. They are gorgeous. Uh, this is lovely green as well. I love that. That blue is nice. That like I can see. I'm more into earth tones. That's for sure. So if I would probably jump in, I'm either earth tones or pastel tones. Yes. <coughs> Excuse me. I certainly need a drink because I talk too much for my sore throat. Um. Okay. So that's what we have here. We done swatching. Hard to believe, but. <sighs> <coughs> yes <coughs> oh I probably should stop talking right now okay overall camera is farther away so you can see everything now my last thoughts I love those crayons I think they're beautiful the selection of colors is great some of the shades are amazing like I love this one I love this one I love the like I love some of the shades I'm super fan of them uh, are they a necessity? I don't think so. If you have plenty of crayons, um, hmm, 
I don't know, if your budget uh, can stretch it, absolutely. If you already have them sort of crayons uh, and you're happy with them, you don't need any more shades, you'll be fine, you'll be perfectly fine. But if you're looking for a lovely selection with the shades, go for it. For me, they're a little bit too, not soft enough. I prefer the softness of these. I haven't tested one, one other thing. Let me see. Um, I'll show you what we haven't test. We haven't checked how they are with the rubbing on the finger actually. I completely forgot. Let's grab red again or maybe a different color. Let's grab something that we can compare with these. What else we have here? We have this, we have maybe the teal ones. The teal is a good example. And I have the, the teals, the greens, them sort of. Uh, let's check those out. Oops, something fell. So let's see. This one is this one is Stabilo. This is the bright color. Uh, rubbing. Oh, it's happening. It with the big stress, <laughs> but it's happening. Let's see this one, the darker color. You would you would like partly. Now the Stadler. Very similar, right? They all very similar. That that went smoothed out a bit. Some other green. It's okay. It's okay. Where is teal? This one is the teal one. Let's say. Let's see. Now. You see, and that is what I'm missing in those crayons. They are too s strong for me, they hard, they are not soft at all and they are just... look, you, you, you can't move that pigment. Let's try again with this one, am I wrong or am I right? I'm, I'm seriously trying to press it equally, even if the smudginess doesn't go too far, you, you can really... one second. Even if the smudginess doesn't go like hugely, but you can you can really still smudge it, you know. Um, let's see. I'm gonna smudge this as the first, the teams one, and this one as a second. Like this is more more but buttery. Um, yeah. That's a that's something I, I this is probably why it felt that something is just not what I like about the crayons. I'm so used to these, however, I don't, these I mean, uh, I, but I don't think that I'm used to it, that's why I prefer them, no. I just like to have the options and I think those are giving the option of even smudging if you have, let's say shading, if you do shading with black, do I have black? I do. Let's say black one and black one. So even if we have a little bit of shading going on and if we would prefer to have a little bit of smudge the out idea let's see and let's see here how smudgy this is <coughs> excuse me i'm sorry my throat is really at the last legs to be honest i have to <laughs> finish oh let's see after drying actually these ones the teams ones this one is stabilo this one is stadler i think no, this one is stable. This one is Lamy. So Lamy seems to be like a good one. Lamy and Lamy, which is this one. I'll give you links to it. Uh, so Stabilo and and Lamy. Yeah, they seems to be very good. And this is good too. But better? No, I wouldn't say actually. Okay, uh, I think I'm gonna go because my beautiful friends, my throat is really asking me for warm tea. Or something to drink so for sure I have to go that was lovely to, to check it out to see and I really hope it was helpful let me know your thoughts let me know what you think do you have those crayons which crayons do you own do you have the Tim Holtz selection would you like to have them did you plan on buying them tell me your story please let's connect with each other let's talk let's have this chat and conversation about those crayons what do you think I'm gonna go for now thank you so much as always for watching being here and and I'll chat to you soon. I love you guys. Bye for now. Bye bye. I meant to not uh, talk, but I couldn't help myself and I went back because I thought, do you know what? It's only fair to do 
maybe some sort of drawing as well just to see so I promise I won't be talking too much um, I'm gonna grab green if I have any oh, I don't have green here oh, well I do have this kind of green that will do uh, let's see that's gonna be interesting to see um, and the clean water it's easier obviously to draw with the thinner lines and all so let's see oh wow I love that I love this I love the idea that it is gentle and if you prefer more you could add more this shape is not really <laughs> uh, very much tulipy. <laughs> That's okay. Now, I'm trying to have an opinion, and it's harder because the thicker sort of uh, lines. I'm gonna make this more shapey of a tulip. The thicker lines, they have more pigment, so it feels that it's darker, but then I prefer this one because you you have that delicate. So for this matter, maybe actually this delicate um, lines, it's easier to, to color in and stuff. Let's see, oops. So I think for the drawing part, I think this wins, right, clearly, because they are thinner lines, so it's much easier to do. Am I right? Let's try it once more. Purple. I'm trying to make thinner lines now. Okay, lovely. Maybe this purple. There we go. <laughs> Let's see. Mm. Let's do the teal. And let's do the teal here as well if I can find one. There we go. Oops, is this better? No, this one is better. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's see that test. Now, once more, because this is so delicate, it it just it the pigment goes a bit differently, and it's nice. I like that. Um, I like that. Um, what's that word in English? It looks the. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Help me. Um, stained feel. I don't know. Now let's see here, I try to make thinner lines a little bit, so let's see if we can have this lovely effect as well. I have to say that it feels, it feels that the pigment for Tim's crayon seems to be having a lo nicer flow they like stained I tell you what they remind me they remind me of this you know when I have my favorite pen right and when I do a little bit of that it just stains it has this that um, or this more you know there we go uh, <coughs> excuse me my voice and it has this stain feel you know so I think for that reason I'm gonna say that Tim's crayons are winning. Interesting, interesting to see the difference now with the painting sort of drawing idea. <coughs> I had a, a sip of tea in between in the meantime. Now it feels that I have to work quite a bit to get that pigment going. The tinier. Oh great, this one doesn't go at all. <laughs> oh, daisies. 
maybe that's the color that just doesn't flow that easily anyway I'm gonna leave this to your own judgments how what to think of it right now this flower won the whole for flower competition so yeah and this one is what it does flow now later on so look I'm gonna leave it to your opinion and I hope you will write write it down to me in the comments section and let me know your your thoughts I'm looking forward to hearing from you thank you so very much I better go get some tea bye for now <laughs>